greeting greeting this is Mark Brown we're going to be looking at how we can actually remove a background from a photo and how we can add a different background to the photo so we'll be guiding you through this particular area right first we want to come right here in the search bar we're going to click right so what we want to go look for we're going to look for 3d right 3d we're going to click all right this particular window come up here so we're going to be looking up a 3D paint, right? So I'm going to type in 3, right? And there you go. I'm going to click, right? I'm going to click, you notice, this is what it actually looked like, right? So we're going to move the background. I'm going to add a different background, but I'm going to show exactly how the photo looks like, right? If you notice, this will open and show you new. And over here, it has one different effect. That click, create and all that. I'm going to click on new right here. I'm going to click on no. Notice it shows some pencil right here. So you can increase the thickness. All right, different, different color here. Notice three D's and text. All right, I'm going to come right here. I'm going to actually minimize it. All right, so this is the picture that I want to actually put right here. So I'm going to come right here, go on the left side, and draw the picture right here. Right, and I'm going to come right here and expand the window. Right, here you go. Now, here you go with the picture. If you notice the background here, show exactly that I'm actually in a third section. So I want to remove that particular background and I'm going to add a different background to it. Right, so I'm going to come over here to magic select. I'm going to click on magic select. Right, immediately bring a little box around. So I'm going to carry it into more like that. So I'm going to do two in. Right, I'm going to do that. What I want to do, I'm going to come up over here. Notice the cancel and next. I'm going to click on word next. Right here. Notice I click on word next. All right, this is actually what it looks like. So if I come right here and I press word done. All right, word done. Then you will see a difference here in the picture. All right. All right, so if you notice. Here I can actually pull the picture away from it just like that. Right, I can actually click on this here and I can actually remove the background by clicking on this. Right, so in order for me to add the background to this particular picture now, what I can do definitely, I can actually right click, right click on this picture here. Let me click on the photo first, I like it. I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to click cut. Right, and I'm going to close this. Right, I'm going to close it now. We're going to open a Microsoft Word document. We're going to open the Microsoft and we're going to paste it in the Microsoft. And that's where we're going to add the background. And we're going to save it to the desktop as a picture file. Right, so here we're going to right click here in Microsoft. We're going to click here. Right, there you go. Right, let me right click on it. And then I'm going to wrap text it, right, just like that. Now we can actually move, right, so since that is right here, just like that. All right, I'm going to in, import the background now. I'm coming to insert. I'm coming to insert. I'm going to command you the picture here. I'm actually going to take the picture from the desktop. I'm going to click right here and next up, right here. Yeah, I have a picture. I'm going to click this one. I'm going to click on insert. All right, when I click on insert, all right, there you go. All right, so for this particular picture, I'm going to right click right here. I want to extend it to the back behind. All right, I'm going to spread it out like that. I'm going to spread it out. So I'm going to spread it out. Like that, you will see the difference. I'm finished. Alright, so let me spread it out. Spread it out. Alright. I spread it out. Alright, so I'm going to click on the photo behind. I'm going to right click. Alright, and then what I'm going to bring it forward. Alright, you notice the photo comes forward now. So now I'm going to bring up this particular section now. You notice the photo now I can actually come right here 
can say go on the photo to affect that. Right. And if I notice the photo, let me bring up like this particle here, here. Right. And then you will see exactly how it uh, photo. I want to cut the picture some more. Right. Let me take up the sum more of that. Right no. I want to care about this down. So I want to put a picture of the snow that you can actually see that you're actually coming from somewhere. Like that. Right, and if you notice, here. Right, and this is the look that we actually have here so far. So, what I wanted to do now, I want to group picture, right? I want to click on this here, and then go on 50, and then click on that one and group. I want to come all the way up here, I want to click the word group. So, both of them group together. So, I'm going to right click, right? I'm going to copy, I'm going to come all the way to new. Alright, I'm going to select a new document, I'm going to paste it on the new document, alright, that. I'm going to paste it on the new document, and tell it, this is exactly what you're going to look like on the new document. Notice, there you go, so I'm going to right click here, and then it's a save as picture, so I'm going to click it, alright, you're going to bring up a small window here, so I want to save it on the desktop here, alright, so I want to name it as photo. Right, I'm going to click here, right there, right, so I'm going to minimize this here, minimize all of these, right, so this is, so it is a photo, right, so we're going to open it, That's exactly what it looks like, right, so we're going to right click, you notice this window come up, right, and then we're going to open with, right, open with, so we're going to open it in photo, so we're going to click here on photo, and then we're going to look and see exactly how it looks like within the particle right here. So we're actually reading on it. Try to open, right? You can notice up here it has the minimize, it has the down, and it has the close point right here. Right? So we're actually looking at it. Alright, there you go. Alright, if you notice my photo, the background change. I can come right here, I can cut it up more, I can delete it from right here. I can actually rotate it, I can actually crop it from this particular angle. Alright, so you notice the structure is showing that I'm actually walking through the woodland. I can shoot from here. Alright, but notice the background that was there actually showed that I was coming down a dirt track. It would show me exactly like this. Alright, and you could even tell the difference whether it was like here or there. Alright, so very important. Hope you have learned something from this video and want to share and subscribe.